If your system is chivied by Java Virtual Machine Launcher error messages frequently, you need not worry. JVM function the Java Virtual Machine is responsible for memory allocation and garbage collection, along with interpretation of bytecode to machine code. The Java Runtime Environment JRE, is mandatory to be installed on your computer for certain applications to work properly. The main component of JRE is the Java Virtual Machine JVM, which helps run Java applications. A Java file, on compilation, produces a class file instead of an executable file. This class file contains Java bytecode, which the JVM interprets into machine-readable instructions. JVM is platform independent, since it provides a machine interface that does not depend on the underlying operating system and hardware architecture. There may be times that you may get error messages while launching JVM, in situations such as booting the computer, playing games like Minecraft, or opening certain Java-based applications. Here, we have compiled a few solutions that may help you fix Java Virtual Machine Launcher errors on Windows XP, Windows 7, and Windows 8. Error message number 1, could not create the Java Virtual Machine. This error message is commonly encountered while trying to start Java-based games, such as Minecraft. Open the control panel. Go to System. Go to Advanced Systems Properties. Click Environment Variables. In System Variables, click New. Put New Variable Name, Underscore Java Underscore Options Put New Variable Value, XMX512M Click OK. XMX Slash S is the configuration parameter that controls the amount of memory Java uses. XMX is the maximum heap memory size that can be allocated. XMS is the minimum heap memory size that can be allocated. Error message number 2, error opening registry key. This error may be encountered while working with Java in command prompt. Go to Windows backslash system32 folder. Delete the Java executable files, including java.z, java.z, and java.z. Reinstall JRE. Error message number 3. Java Virtual Machine Launcher could not find the main class, program will now exit click Start in the main menu. In the search box that appears, type MRT and press Enter. A Windows utility called Microsoft Malicious Software Removal Tool will get launched. Click Next and choose Full Scan. Reboot your computer after you've finished scanning. Click Start and launch the system configuration utility by typing msconfig in the search field. Click the Startup tab and remove the checkmark next to JVU. X and Yuva. X. Reboot when prompted. Error message number 4, unable to access jar file. This error may be encountered while trying to open an application. Click Start and go to default programs. Select associate a file type or protocol with a program. Click on the extension. Jar to view the program that opens it by default. Click change program and select the default program Java Virtual Machine Launcher. Click close and check whether the issue is resolved. If not, try in installing and reinstalling Java. If the problem still persists, check with the technical support of the application which gives you the error. If you are still not sure about all this, it would be advisable to hire the services of a qualified computer technician to sort out the problem.